honestly, am I the only one that loves this design that Nike has gone for in 2020? Not only the Inter Milan in Nigeria kit and now the Spurs kit, but also the national team that I'm wearing here, the English jersey, have all gone for that simple middle design, centered piece. Yeah, I love, I love this design. I think it is simple and it allows the kit to have a lot of negative space, which, you know, as an aesthetic point of view, it isn't an eyesore. And the fact that the Spurs kit today that I've got in my hands, uh, which is again, a massive thank you to Ultra Football for supplying most of my kits to talk about. So if you are after this kit or any of the other third kits this season, please check out Ultra Football in the description below. But um, when it comes to this kit, you know, Looking at it on the internet, I wasn't a huge fan of the simple yellow. But now to have it in my hands, I have noticed, and uh, I had to research this as well, but there is a gradient that levels out from the top to the bottom. So there are three to four different variations of yellow Pantone in this kit. But again, it's the blue and the Holy Trinity here that does it for me. I love that sort of royal feel, and of course Tottenham being that sort of upper class club, so they think. But I think the design and the way the blue and the yellow work on this kit does allow the kit to work in a simple way, which is beautiful and elegant in many ways. Now, looking at the screen next to me here with this kit, you can actually see the color variations. And this is funny because when it comes to studio photography or anything to do with media kits or even game day, you don't really get to see this. So even in a game day moment when the kits have gone, maybe a bit soaked from the rain or just sweat, I haven't really noticed this. So maybe the Vapor Edition or the Player Edition doesn't really show this, but um, yeah, look, having this in my hands, I have noticed that gradient and I really like it. But the smaller detail that I really like here, and I'll show a definite close up of this, is on the back, there's this little bit of a tagline here that has a geometric sort of version of the colors on the back. And again, these are the small things that I wish I had seen on many other kits. And I really like that. Again, looking inside, there isn't any hidden detail. And I do hope for Nike's manufacturer sense or any other manufacturer out there does start adding this because as kit collectors, we try to find the small details in kits that make us happy. A lot of the 90s kits had little subliminal messages inside the kit. So when it comes to the modern kit, it's something that I'm really looking for. So I think as Australian Socceroo fans, we do see the Never Say Die on the back tagline or even the Australian Southern Cross. So I do hope for future kits, maybe the fourth kits this season for Nike, will have a small message behind every badge or it's somewhere in the neckline. Now talking about the neckline, this is a really relaxed elastic around the neck, which again to me is by far my favorite element of many kits. You don't want anything choking you. So again, it is a similar design to the English national team that I'm wearing. The sleeves are simple. I'm a bit unfortunate they don't have the same ones as the Chelsea and the PSG third kit, but it is a simple and elegant kit. So there isn't really much I would add to it. If you're a Spurs fan, would you be wearing this? Look, I'm not a huge Spurs fan in a sense that I support them or have many interest in them. So I wasn't aware they had many other yellow kits. Kits. Their last bright yellow kit was in 2009, so it's almost a 10 year gap between two yellow kits. And previously to the 2009, there was many versions. So I'm pretty sure we may have seen Berbatov in this color. I don't mind it. Back on the yellow color side of things. Uh, so if this was the Pantone, it starts off as a tour yellow and goes down to a university gold. Again, it's those small little Pantone colors that I like to know because you do see the colors play along on different kits. So sometimes the blue that we see on this kit may be the exact blue on the English kit or even on the Chelsea kit. So it's, it's the small details again that I always talk about that I really love. So every time I mention the small details, it is a key for me. So what are your thoughts on this kit? Do you like the kit? Do you hate the kit? What would you change? What would we add? Please let me know in the comments below. Compared to many of the other kits that I have in the third kit range this season, it seems like the badging and the stitching on this kit isn't as heavy as of the others. It is a really simple uh, design here in the sense that even the vinyl for the sponsor on the AIA is different to what the three is on the Chelsea. If I had to compare the AIA sort of texture on the vinyl compared to other kits this season, it will be exactly the same to what the Pirelli is on either of the Inter Milan kits this season. 
And a fun fact, I just found out that there was a yellow kit in the Spurs kit archive that featured a Sega logo. So I think it was the 91, 92 off my memory, and it was a yellow kit that featured the Sega logo. I think it was either a one-off sponsor, but if you're a Spurs fan and you have that, please send me a photo because I'd love to see it in person. Another little thing that I love noticing on these kits, like I always say small details, you're probably sick and tired of me saying that, but if you look at the engineered authentication code at the bottom, most of the clubs would have their initial of the club. So for example, Spurs do have the T for Tottenham. So if that is something you always look at, please find that and let me know again if yours has some sort of reference to your club. Now, as I mentioned in many of the other third kit reviews for this season, these are based on shoes or sneakers from the Nike range. So with this kit, it does have the Air Max 95 inspired colors and again I really like the combination of the kits and the sneakers and I do hope to see what their fourth kit is for this there are rumors and hopefully the episode does come out before the fourth kit is released but there are rumors that their fourth kit for Spurs this season will be gray now if you're a Spurs fan you've got three amazing kits so far you've got the home that's really simple the amazing melon green that does it for me in the second kit and now the third kit you've got this beautiful yellow gradient but with the fourth kit rumored like I said before I do hope that Spurs fans are happy this season if I am to rate this kit out of 10 as most of my videos I feel this one is sitting at a 7 as well and of course if you're after this kit it is available at ultrafootball.com and as always thank you so much for watching today's video I have noticed that only 70% of people watching my videos are actually not subscribed to this channel so if you can please subscribe it actually means a lot to me it allows me to tell my wife that I'm doing something worth my time but uh, honestly it means a lot that you've come today and yeah literally watch this video and listen to me speak about a kit that you maybe like or dislike but as always please leave a like subscribe and i will see you in the next video please stay safe stay away from stupid people and goodbye